will make it all Never right. doubt it for a second. This isn't good. By the grace of the flame of the This cannot be. This won't do. Good. Yeah. At this rate. The flame bringer is never doubted for a yeah. second. Yes. Could I be? Hey, I just. Yeah, we, we gotta get a lot of levels before we can do that. Uh, resume from last save point. Okay. You're not ready for this. And absolutely not with Temenos at his current level. Okay. We did get him a few level ups, which was my original goal. So that we could do part two of his quest line. Uh, I had business here. Temenos follows the trail of the Pontiff's killer to Canelbrine, where he must find the theologian Lucian and quickly, for Lucian may be the key to solving the case. Mark said Temenos is dead ways. I said currently he's dead ways. Gods. <laughs> and what do you want with my lord? Man, you just stood there. Daughter the Charitable. Did suffer grievous wounds in the fight with the evil god Vide, and fell into eternal slumber. <laughs> Thought I would send you off with a bit of scripture. All in the name of Lord Vide. So they're basically like a satanic cult. They worship the bad guy. The city on the waters. Canelbrine. Just before the pontiff was murdered, someone met with him. A theologian known as Lucian, whose trail has brought me here. He may yet hold the clue I need to find the murderer. Over here! Hey! Press P for banter. Dot dot dot. Pontiff. Your death came all too soon. Dot dot dot. Temenos? Ah, Cassie, is everything alright? Oh, please don't mind me. I apologize for interrupting. You need it worry so. The purpose of my journey is not to reckon with my own grief. And so I must follow the trail of the theologian Lucian. Temenos, wait. The body and the mind are intertwined. Suppressing your feelings only serves to put undue burden on your body. So might it not be best to leave more time to grieve? Thank you, Cassie. I see it is not only your patients whom you heal, but those who survived the deaths of their loved ones as well. Notice how he didn't say he was going to do anything different there. This makes no sense. I've been waiting all day. I know this is the right place, but I'm getting tired of waiting here. So begins the tale of waiting all day and night. Hmm. This area has been sealed off. Oh, come on. Just give us one look. Stand back. The Sacred Guard is investigating this incident. Well, this is anything but calm and orderly. <laughs> the only way to close a case is to begin investigating. I'd better ask around and find out what happened. Some guy got stabbed. In the name of Vida? I never thought an incident like this would happen so close to home, but why has the Sacred Guard sealed off the area? It seems like the town's apothecary's been killed. How awful. I was a patient of his, too. 
So that's it then. Kennel Brine's renowned apothecary has been killed by an unknown assailant. Could this be related to the pontiff's death? Hmm. You there! What are you snooping around for? Found me out, have you? I am merely the humble inquisitor. Don't move a muscle, stranger. I bet you're hiding a weapon. I'll have you restrained. That sounds a touch aggressive. <laughs> Stop! Oh, Crick's here. What's up? That's Inquisitor Temenos from the church. You needn't restrain him. I vouch for him. A sanctum knight. Uh, forgive us our haste, sir. They didn't apologize to me? Crick, we meet again. Was this your new post in the end? Indeed. And you're the last person I expected to see here. Though I'm glad I did. You were nearly wrongfully imprisoned. Are you alright, Temenos? You look rather pale. It is to my great shame that I am now indebted to you, little lamb. <laughs> <laughs> He's little lamb again. Little la You still insist on insulting me. <laughs> Nevertheless, a debt is a debt. I shall remember this. <laughs> to think I made my way to the same city to which you were reassigned. It must be... Fate. Do not dare say fate, Temenos. <laughs> Do not that save. the sacred guard and I have come to the same conclusion is what I meant to say. This is no time for jokes, Crick. M my apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you also suspect the theologian Lucian is involved? Among all Lucian's works, one called The Final Night casts the longest shadow. And anything with night in the title catches my eye of late. And soon night shall fall. The verse in the note the pontiff left behind. In myth and legend, the night is often a metaphor for the enemy, or some other threat. By that logic, perhaps the Pontiff meant to warn us against the threat that is Lucia. Has the Sacred Guard learned anything? No, nothing at all. Oh dear, what useless little crows. <laughs> Did you just insult that man's whole order? Do you know something we don't, Temenos? Yeah, that, he let that slide. Of course I do. These two cases share more than a bit of scripture. Go on. One of the townsfolk had a most curious story for me. Our ill-fated apothecary met in secret with a man mere days before his murder. That man was Lucian. Wh what? The Pontiff also met with Lucian just before he was murdered. I believe our theologian played a role in both incidents. Meaning, he is now the person of greatest interest to us. <laughs> come one, come all! Don't miss Hermes the Dancer's next performance! You want to buy a ticket too? You can pay your respects to the goddess of the city! Apologies, but I am otherwise occupied. Eh, they're no fun. <laughs> Hermes dances tonight! Don't miss it! Meet at the tavern! A performance? 
Amid all this chaos... Lives go on. Terminos, we must question Lucian. There's not a moment to lose. He must be stopped. Hmm. I am not quite so willing. What are you waiting for? Another murder? There may well have been one already. All available evidence points towards Lucian, but something's troubling me. Alas, with no further evidence or clues at hand. Very well. Let us make our way to Lucian's home. Does it maybe it just seems too convenient? Funny enough, chat, we find our way back at one of the first cities of the game. I'm pretty sure this is where Ochet met Casti. And we went from a party of one to a party of two. But our, uh, the story of um, Tenemo, uh, Temenos uh, brings him back here. Um, let's see. Vigorous, vigor, vigorous, vigor, vigorous, vigor. Yeah, this whole party has vigorous, vigor. Such a vigorous party. Hmm. This is a single ally. Life is here to all foes. It's a luminescence. We want luminescence on him. Inner strength increase your SP by 50. Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, that'd be good. That should be good. All right. Awesome. All right. Well. Uh, we made quite a bit of progress. Also got to see that there are some dual stories. We, we saw a combined casting of Chet story. Makes me wonder how many other ones there are as well. Also has me a little fearful, because I wonder if there's dual stories, are there, like, three-person stories? And if there's that, are there four-person stories? Which means, like, you have to use this exact group to do this story type of thing. Which, you know... If that, I would think not, because if, for example, if Ochet's not in that exact group, I literally could not do it in this play th playthrough. So I would think that there wouldn't be, like, four-person requirement stories. Ochet's got 69 mana, by the way. Nice. All right. With that, we're going to pause here. Until next time.